Today we're going to take a closer look at glucose, fructose and sucrose. Now for the production of these three sugars, the starting point is normally starch. And this of course is a polysaccharide. of glucose. And we can show that as a chain of glucose units. And most industrial processes in the food industry these start with a starch syrup and this syrup is usually made from corn as it's called in the USA in Europe we know this as maize. There are a number of reasons for using corn. Uh, one of the reasons is that it's heavily subsidized uh, by the government and also that it's a so-called corn itself is a so-called monocotyledon which means its seeds have one cotyledon and it just so happens that these are very efficient users of sunlight of course the starch is being produced by photosynthesis so Let's go on and take a look at how this starch is used to produce glucose and fructose. We start with starch, which is an extremely long polysaccharide. We can show it like this, so a long chain of glucose units. And the first thing that we do, we add to it an enzyme called alpha amylase and this is an enzyme so a biological catalyst and the alpha amylase its job is to catalyze the hydrolysis of starch to glucose. And hydrolysis, we've already had a reaction which we call a condensation reaction, which is when, for example, the disaccharide forms and water is produced as well. Hydrolysis, if we look at the word, hydrolysis, and as usual, this is made up of two parts, lysis, which will always means to to split something and hydro which is water 
So it means to split something using water. And as I said, you can think of this as the opposite of condensation reaction. So, just take going back now to the alpha amylase. Um, amylases are produced, of course, in your mouth. When you chew a piece of bread that has starch or a potato, you slowly it will taste sweet because the amylase in your mouth is breaking up the starch. The starch is broken up into small pieces which looks something like this. So these are pieces of starch, if you want. And these are called oligosaccharides. Saccharides, as we know, means sugar. A ligo means a few. So we have, in effect, a few glucose units. So that was the first step in the industrial production of glucose and fructose from starch. So now we've split up our polysaccharide into small pieces of oligosaccharides. In the next video we'll look at the second stage of this three-stage process.